Hi, hi guys! So, for today's video, alam ko marami na kayo nakita mga reviews and swatches nung pinaka-controversial na Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte Flash Lip Tint. Okay guys, didiretsahin ko na kayo. I'm pretty sure you're aware na na marami talaga sa mga opinion ng mga beauty vloggers na this is not a lip tint. Well, hindi siya traditional lip tint na, alam mo yun, familiar tayo. Alam mo yun, hindi siya yung parang water tint, gel tint, yung mga ganun, yung mga lip tint na, Korean lip tint na alam natin. And I think they considered this as a lip tint kasi nga, pinayagan nilang gamitin mo sa cheeks mo. But yeah, to be completely honest, hindi siya traditional lip tint. Mas matatawag ko pa siya na lip pigment. Pero sinasabi ko na sa'yo, bebe, itrato mo na to as a liquid lipstick. A more affordable version ng uh, Super Stay Matte Ink o kaya ng L'Oreal Infallible. But what I can help you with sa video na to is maybe we have the same skin tone and whatnot. And um, I can give you recommendations on what colors to get. Kasi hindi naman lahat sila kailangan mong kunin. Actually, meron mga magkakahawig na colors na you will see later on. And yeah, I'll give you my thoughts. So bago ko gawin yung lip swatch, i-insert ko muna yung wear test na ginawa ko. Gano nga ba kalong lasting itong um, sensational liquid matte slash lip tint ng Maybelline. Test. So before I give you my final thoughts, let's proceed muna sa mga lip swatches. First shade is called Truly MLBB, My Lips Bit Better. So guys, ito na yung pinaka-light na shade dun sa out of 10. And I think ang makaka-appreciate nito is yung may mga fair, light, pale skin tones. If you're Marina, I don't think this is gonna work for you kasi masyado siyang light. Although may mga nakikita ko mga dark skin tone na let's say mga models or something like that sa, sa Instagram na nagsuot naman sila ng mga light shades ng ganito. So I suggest kung mura na ka, you try it for yourself muna. Sa mga counters, you can swatch it there or something like that and see for yourself. But for me, I like this shade. Mm -hmm. It could use something in the middle like probably a deeper mauve or dark tone color para magkaroon siya ng parang ombre effect. But I like it. But I gotta warn you guys, if napupusuan mong isuot to, make sure na exfoliated yung lips mo. Kasi if you have dry, chapped lips, oh my god, it doesn't, it won't look good. Next shade I'm going to try on is Birthday Suit On. So, I think difference niya sa una kong sinwash. So, this one is yung Truly MLBB. Ito talaga True Nude. And this one is a bright corally color. So, this is Birthday Suit On. And medyo malayo naman siya dun sa Truly MLBB. Kasi yung Truly MLBB is like nude brown. And this one mayroon siyang hint ng peach. But again, this is a shade na ma-appreciate lang ng mga fair... Sige, sabihin natin medium, medium fair to super light skin tones. Unfortunately, sa mga morena babes natin dyan, magmumuha itong parang, I don't know, traffic cones sa lips ninyo. Kasi it's, it's pretty bright in person. Yeah. 
And with the first two shades, you guys, kailang if you have dark lips, I think kailangan yun ng second coat. Y yung yung ano nito, yung opacity nito, hindi siya sing ting de ng ano, ng Superstay Matte Ink or ng L'Oreal Infallible. Parang kailangan mo ng second layer if you have dark lips. Oh, by the way, this is another shade na magmukhang charat kapag hindi naka-exfoliate yung lip chok mo. Next shade is called Keep It Mellow. Okay, kumpara natin dun sa first two. Ito ang Keep It Mellow. Darker siya compared dito sa If They Suit On. Okay? This screams summer color. Alam yun, because it's so bright. I like the color. I like the fun in it, but it's not my favorite. Hindi ko hindi kasi ako masadong fun ng mga alam yun, bright uh, colors. This is like a pink with a hint of orange. Dahil bright siya, parang na emphasize na yung lines ng lips ko. I don't know. Your labi mo is smooth, nambongam bonga, walang masyadong lines. I think you would definitely appreciate this. And if you are again medium fair to light skin tone, because this is another shade, na feeling ko hindi mapupusuan ng mga morena loves natin jaan. Eh, wong ko baba kag karami na mga shades, eh, parang bright bright tan. Ang ganda niyang pang ano no, pang picture picture ganyan. <laughs> Pero this is not something I would wear on a daily basis. No, I don't think. The fourth shade I'm going to try is called Easy Berry. Kumpara natin dun sa first three shades. Ito ang difference ni Easy Berry. Nandun na tayo sa pink side. As you can see, this is a semi Barbie pink color. Pero at least hindi siya yung ganun ka super bright. Pero again, this is another shade na parang feeling ko ah, feeling ko lang naman. May level ng morena na, alam mo yun, binabagayan. Skullard. Although I'm hoping na as we move on, eh, meron na tayong parang alam mo yun, universal color naman. Bagay sa morena, bagay sa lahat ng skin tones. But for this shade, etong Easy Berry, this is one of the shades na kailangan two layers for you to cover your entire lips, lalo na kapag kapigmented yung lips mo. Pag medyo dark yung gilid or medyo brownish yung lips mo, para talagang makover siya two layers. Kasi hindi ganun ka-thick yung formula niya, this particular shade. Pero wala rin ako nakikita something, alam mo yun, amazing sa shade na to, parang something different or something na, ooh, parang alam mo yun, walang... Walang wow factor. For me lang naman. Pwedeng, alam mo yun, iba yung impact sa'yo. Alright, next shade guys, gagawa na tayo dun sa parang feeling ko medyo magkakamukha ng bongga-bongga. And yung first batch natin ay itong dalawang to. Diyos ko Lord. This one is Sensationally Me. And then this one is Best Babe. Okay, anong pinagkaiba nila? I-swatch it kills muna natin. So, over here, sensationally. And then over here, best. <gasps> ano yun? Okay. Mm -hmm. Pagka ganyan, hindi mo talaga makikita yung parang difference nila, guys. Pag sinipat mo ng bunggang bunga, Itong si Sensationally Me, meron siyang more on may pagka-brown. Itong si Best Babe, more on may pagka-pink. Swatch natin sa lips natin. Si Sensationally Me muna. So this is Sensational Me. It has a perfect balance of brick red, a little bit of pink, and brown color. Do I like it? Absolutely. 
basically yes. It has a really good opacity. Isang isang dip lang, isang swipe lang covered na yung entire lips ko compared dun sa mga naunang uh, bright colors. Medyo, may ganun eh. Pag bright yung color, parang hirap. Eh, parang hirap niyang bow eh. Medyo patchy. Pero if it's darker or deeper, parang mas, ano, mas thicker yung formula niya. But this is one of the colors that I highly recommend. It is so good for every day. And this is the shade na feeling ko magugustuhan ng, alam mo yun, mas maraming skin to na mga morena babes natin babaga ito so tingnan niyo mabuti this is sensationally me next is best babe buti ba may may pinagkaiba naman eh oh hmm? this is mas mapink Definitely must be pink. And this is a pink way better than um ano to? Easy Berry. I go for this one because it's deeper and it's sexier, you know? And ma appreciate ng I think I believe ng maraming skin tones. Especially the Morena babes out there. Ang kailangan tanong, kung medyo magkahawig sila, alin ang mas better? Alam mo yun kung matalas yung mata mo, ma-appreciate mo yung pinagkaiba nila. Pero if, alam mo yun, medyo hindi ka naman ganun ka, alam mo yun, ka-meticulous, ka-particular, alam mo yun, hindi ka ganun ka-choosy ng bongga-bongga. I would recommend um, Sensationally Me, yung sinwatch ko before this, compared sa best babe. But I like them both. So this one is to the fullest. And this one is a uh, flush it red. And sa packaging, mahagita ko na na eto mas orangey. Eto talaga is yung um, alam mo yun, Bava Boom Regal Red. This one is a brighter red. Here are the two. And feeling ko nahagita nyo naman na. Mas ma orangey ito. Ito is mas red na red with a little bit of honestly, uh, just a little bit of pink. Unahin natin si to the fullest. So, I am wearing two the fullest, and honestly, you guys, nothing special. <laughs> hindi ako parang napawaw sa kanya, hindi ako parang, ooh, striking red or something like that. Kasi una sa lahat, yung formula niya, eh, medyo manipis. So, parang kailangan two layers para makover mo yung entire lips mo, lalo na if you have dark lips. But, you know, ang dami, -dami ko lang parang orange red, and I'm tired of orange red. And, you know, this is something na not all morenas are gonna love because it's orange red so it's a bit brighter so do i recommend um to the fullest no i don't you can live your life without this shade unless unless ah preference mo talaga napupusuan mo talaga yung mga ganito klase ng red it's all on you pero you know yun lang yung thought ko Shade is flush it red. So I'm wearing flush it red. Kagaya ng to the fullest, this is not something I've never seen before. But I do recommend that you get this if you want a more affordable option kumpara dun sa L'Oreal Infallible na liquid lipstick and yung Super Stay Matte Ink. If you think na gusto mong mas makamura, go for this one na klase ng um, red because it's just 219 pesos. And again, ko ako papipiliin which red to get, I would definitely get this one because this is deeper and mas versatile kasi yung mga ganitong klase ng red. Yes. We are down to the last two shades. At eto, itong dalawang to. Well, nakikita nyo naman siguro, this one is lighter, this one is deeper. Pero pag ini-swatch natin, unahin natin itong si um, Made Easy. So this is Made Easy. And then we have Soft Wine. Ayan o, medyo magkahawig sila. What are their difference? Etong si Made Easy is again on the brown tone, brown undertone. And this one is on the red maroon. Ito kasi chocolatey. Ito parang red velvety. Alam mo yun? Unahin natin yung swatch si Made Easy. Ayan o, ma-chocolatey siya. Ayan o, medyo nagda-dry na siya. Nakikita nyo na yung medyo ano niya ano. This is brownie, this is red. -y. I love this. I love Made Easy because it's dark. 
alam niyo man ako, napukuso ako talaga yung mga deep, yung mga dark lippies because for me, it is sexier. It is more, alam niyo, nakikater sa iba't ibang skin tone. So, I love it. This is one of the colors that you should get. Ah, oh, definitely. Last but not the least, yung soft wine. Ayun o, pag in-apply mo, medyo hawig siya ni, ano, ni Made Easy. It's just that this one is more on the reddish side. Maganda rin to, babe. It's one of the shades that I also like and, and I recommend that you try, that you get. Kaya lang, ang mega side nito is uh, medyo patchy siya ilagay. So, it will take time for you to have this fully covered. Um, two layers and then yung maayos na swiping talaga ng bonggam bongga para ma-achieve mo yung ganito ka, ganito ka opaque. Get it to deep, but you know, nonetheless, I like it. I really do. Pero ikaw, kung hindi mo napapansin yung difference nila, or if you don't care, just tell me which dark color to get. Um, I would probably go for Made Easy more than more than Soft Wine, just because eto kasi mas thick yung formula nito. He, mas madali siyang i-apply, hindi sing patchy katulad ng Soft Wine. But two colors I love. Okay, so bago ko sabihin yung full thoughts ko, i-apply ko muna siya sa cheeks ko, and then um, gagawa ko ng ombre sa lips. Kasi let's try yung, ano niya, yung parang blendability niya with two colors. Try muna natin mag-ombre ng Truly MLBB and ng Made Easy. Oh, huh? And then for the cheeks, I think I would go for Sensationally Me. Alright guys, don't panic. Mm-hmm. So, medyo natanggal niya yung foundation ko pagka-apply ko sa kanya. Alright guys, it is now time for my final thoughts. Una sa lahat, yung formula niya, it's creamy, it's pigmented, although iba-iba yung opacity nila. May mga kailangan ng double layers, merong mga isang layer lang, okay na. Long-lasting siya. Pero ang kalaban niya talaga is oily food. If you're gonna eat dry food, okay lang yun. It's gonna last for as long as it can. Pero kung kakain ka ng mga oily food, mababawasan at mababawasan siya. It's not as strong as L'Oreal Infallible and yung Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Ink. But mas affordable siya, so yung longevity niya, eh medyo swak dun sa price niya, which is 219 pesos. One of the pros of this liquid lipstick. Another con na nakita ko is, it's a bit drying if isha-shade mo siya sa labi mo. Kasi ito, medyo, ano na yun eh, medyo dry-dry na siya. Kasi two colors na siya, natuyo na yung isa, saka kopinatong yung isa. So kung gagamitin mo to, choose one shade and then shade it out and then that's it wag mo nang patungan kasi magiging dry and cracky lang yung lips mo but the best way to use this is full pack on color mahirap pagka dalawang colors ang shade mo lalo na kapag may nauna kang inapply and then saka mo papatungan yun talaga mahihirap ang kang i-blend because yung blendability nga niya is like a liquid lipstick is it good for the cheeks it's good for the cheeks kapag ka moisturizer lang ang meron ka or BB cream and you're gonna do it on a daily basis. Pero pag naka full pack foundation ka, magagamit mo siguro siya kung medyo wet pa yung foundation mo. Pero kung nag dry na yung foundation mo, nag set na siya and all that, and then my setting powder ka na and all that, sa kamo ilalagay ito, uh, dye, it will take off your foundation definitely. Ang maganda lang sa kanya is little dot goes a long way. It's very pigmented and it will stay the entire day as a blush more than on the lips. So do I recommend this line? Definitely yes because it's affordable. It's just 219 and you have a lot of colors to choose from. Magre-reklamo siguro ako kung nasa alam yun. Kapresyo siya ng L'Oreal Infallible. Better for the price point, I think okay na siya. Okay, so what are the colors that you need? First up is truly MLBB. Next is Sensationally Me. Optional si Best Babe, but I also kind of like it. Si Made Easy. And my last is Flush It Red. 
etong six colors na to, eto yung mararecommend ko na, alam mo yun, go get these. These are my favorite out of the ten. And then, itong apat na to is not so much because they are too bright for me. And they're not my favorite. Pero alam mo yun, preference mo. But these are just my, um, recommendations. So, what else? I guess that's everything. Ang hawa-hawa na po ng video na to. But thank you, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoy kayo, nagkaroon ka ng idea. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Links down below. And we'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!